I can now officially tell everyone that Carly Fiorina is officially dropping out uh, of this race. She just made this announcement here on Facebook, uh, and apparently she has a very specific message uh, to young women, which is... I'm reading her note now. To young girls and women across the country, I say, do not let others define you. Do not listen to anyone who says you have to vote a certain way or for a certain candidate because you're a woman. That is not feminism. Gloria Borger, and I have David Chalian joining me now. Actually, let's go to uh, David Chalian first. David, if you want to weigh in on more of what you're hearing from the Fiorina camp. Well, listen. Uh Clearly, uh, Carly Fiorina had not, uh, either in Iowa or New Hampshire, posted any kind of result that was going to allow her to raise the money necessary to move forward, to create the organization around her uh, to move forward. What the, what the Republicans lose here with Carly Fiorina's uh, exit from the race is one of the most vocal critics of Hillary Clinton in the Republican field. This is what, how she entered the race and how she conducted herself pretty much all the way through was to draw the sharpest possible contrast with Hillary Clinton. And that is something that uh, she continually returned to, even when she was being uh, sort of attacked or the center of attention from her fellow Republicans. She was always the one that was really trying to take the fight to Clinton.